Uh, just what qualities do you think a woman can bring um, to this very position of president of this country um, in comparison to the type of leadership we've seen over the past 32 years? The first one is competency. I think there are women who are very, very, very much competent to rule this country. This is number one. Number two, who has a motherly love how to do things. Just look what the first lady did when she said, I forgive this person. So there's no hatred in us. For us, it is about the country, nothing more, nothing less. So competency, we, we agree, there must be competency. But why is it that people are overlooking the issue of competency? There are so many qualified and competent women in this country who can occupy the, their position. We are not saying just pick any women. It's not what we are saying. We are saying bring in a competent woman mm -hmm. who I believe there are a lot of them in this country. Yep. And we are also saying, I think women are, the, are, 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 are less corrupt than men. So why, if you look at all these feelings and things, who are feeling? Who is so corrupt? It mm -hmm. is the men. Mm -hmm. So why are you not giving us a chance also? If there is a few women who are corrupt, now you want to punish the whole women of Namibia. This yeah. is unfair towards us. Do you think the country itself um, is ready for such a step? And I'm not just talking about the political structures, um, parliament, etc. Do you think Namibia as a nation um, is ready for such a move? This is my concern. If you look, the biggest population in this country is women. Mm -hmm. So if us who are the biggest in this country, why can't we say let us rule? Yeah. So I cannot understand if women support each other then there cannot be a matter of whether we are ready. Yeah. It is us who must support each other and say, yes, we are ready. It is not about, no, the society is not ready, with, uh, uh, Namibians are not ready. Mm -hmm. This all depends on us women, what we are saying. But if a woman is saying we are not ready, then it means she doesn't think anything about your sister. Yeah. It means you don't trust your sister. But you know where there's a conflict comes in? The conflicts come in when it is our husbands and our boyfriends who are competing for this position, then we don't see the advantages that the other women can bring. Because I just want my husband to occupy that position, which is wrong from women. It is wrong from us that when it comes to our husbands and our boyfriends, we are supporting them instead of supporting another woman. Very much. Ms. Dinda, coming back to the quality of com competence that you pointed out, um, do you have a specific woman or women in mind that you think possess that very quality? I don't have anyone in mind because there are too many. So I will not be specific and say that woman and that woman, no. There yeah. are too many. We must just look for them, speak for them, groom them in these two years, make sure that we will very much make sure that everybody knows about the qualities of these women. But they are there. I don't want to be specific because I don't want women to be labeled. No, Dinda's campaigning for that person, Dinda's campaigning for that person. No, it is just a matter of principle that I'm saying we are ready. No matter who the candidate is, I'm saying we are ready. And we do have women who qualify to lead this country.